Shifting gears, let's zoom in on one of the three Japanese car makers in hot water for emissions fraud. A number of Korean consumers are looking to file a class action lawsuit against Nissan over claims the company manipulated emissions tests on one of its models. Kim Hyesung song has more on the anger charge reaction. Nissan Motor could be called to court to answer some tough questions over the Korean government's claims it fiddled emissions test results. The proposed suit will call for the Japanese automaker to offer local owners of the Qashqai SUV a full refund and damages. Local law firm Padin, which is also handling a class action suit against Volkswagen's Korean unit, says it plans to sue Nissan Korea and the head of Renault Nissan Alliance, Carlos Kohn. We will file a complaint against Nissan Motor on behalf of the 37 Korean customers who bought the vehicle. The latest move comes a matter of days after Korea's environment ministry announced that Nissan had manipulated emissions results on the SUV. The ministry tested 20 diesel cars sold in Korea after the Volkswagen scandal broke last year and found Nissan used a similar defeat device to ensure the Qashqai passed stringent diesel emissions tests. 814 Qashqai vehicles have been sold in Korea since November of last year. Nissan continues to deny any wrongdoing. The auto giant said it has not and does not employ illegal defeat or cheat devices in any of its cars. Two other Japanese automakers, Mitsubishi Motors and Suzuki Motor, are also caught up in fuel testing scandals. And on Wednesday, the Mitsubishi president resigned to take responsibility for his company's actions, while Suzuki apologized for the improper testing but denied falsifying mileage data. Korean consumers are unlikely to be affected as none of the Mitsubishi or Suzuki models in question are sold in Korea. Kim Hye-sung, Arirang News.